The Tunnel of Oppression, a project that started at Western Illinois University in the 1990s, has reached the University of Hawaii at Manoa. From April 6th to the 8th, students could walk through the exhibit on the first floor of Freer Hall, aim to shock participants to challenge their perceptions of issues dealing with oppression. UH Residence of Life Coordinator Bradley Kane co-advised the group of RAs who put the program together. The most important thing, he said, was localizing the tunnel to focus on issues visible here in Hawaii. As a result, the tunnel features four rooms. The first room dealt with homelessness and had a tent and shopping cart set up to stimulate a homeless experience. Additional information about where students can volunteer to help was also available. Melanie English, a resident advisor and a sophomore at UH, helped create the homeless exhibit. We were hoping to change people's minds about like some stigmas or stereotypes. The next room was about body image and sexuality. A black light displayed Barbie's unattainable statistics, while a video streamed in the background about the way females are portrayed in advertising. Another section addressed homosexuality and the pain of offensive homophobic expressions. The third room addressed Hawaiian sovereignty. The walls were lined with hateful slurs common on the islands, reflecting the tension that exists beneath the aloha spirit. The history of the monarchy and the overthrow was featured through images and video as well. The fourth room addressed the commodification of Hawaiian culture. One room featured the common illusion of paradise, eerily reminiscent of 50s movies and the various tourist traps in Waikiki. The second was titled The Reality and displayed more accurate representations of Hawaiian culture. Participants were encouraged to share their responses on reaction walls located throughout the exhibit. This has been a report by Mary Renee Ruder.